Well, I think uh, we'll start by talking a little bit about Slipknot. I know you're, yeah. that's not exactly your favorite band, but... No, I mean, I'm I'm open for it, so let's do it. Yeah. I, well, first thing I want to do is do a victory lap because we pre accurately predicted in one of our earlier videos that El Eloy Casagrande was going to be the drummer. I mean, it wasn't rocket science. Yeah, to no. It out. Like, they were basically the guy, like, suddenly quit Sepultura. Exactly. The guy who's... <laughs> First of all, the guy who's famous for doing like Slipknot playthrough videos on e on YouTube, who's widely regarded as like one of the best drummers in the world, suddenly quits Sepultura for a, for to like pursue other opportunities. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. I wonder where he could have possibly yeah. gone. <laughs> he's he's going to go underground. Oh, he's going to go underground, isn't he? But yeah, but anyway, there's a lot of excitement, I think, in the fan community. And whether you like Slipknot or not, you got to give them credit for oh, just yeah. being badass. So they recently did this this um, show, like to, to reintroduce themselves. And I think this is so cool what they're doing because they're taking it back to 1999. Basically, yeah. the whole everything they're doing from the, they get they have new masks that are like the original masks and everything and the jumpsuits the red jumpsuits with the with the barcodes on them and stuff like they're going back to their roots with this 20 it's like 25th anniversary of uh the uh the first you know the debut album yeah yeah so i don't know if you heard this or not but you'll appreciate this i think more than a lot of people um they did this show out at called a place called pappy and harriet's which is out in palm springs basically mm -hmm. Um, and it was $9 for tickets. And I think it was like 350 people and all the proceeds went to like a no kill shelter. That's cool. And I think something else like a uh, suicide prevention or something like that. But it was like, basically they did this show to kind of like revisit their roots, like kick this yeah. kick off this 25th anniversary thing. So I got a little clip of that just like nice. Little thing too, not to not to not to keep interrupting this, but I think what's so cool, like watching this, it's like hell yeah. There's you can hear the flaws in the music, yeah, because they're not using tracks. They do have samples and stuff, but like just the energy is superb. And the raw, the rawness, yeah. And it's it's a poorly shot like phone video too. And there's no roof. But as you can see, they're kind of like they've done like a throwback to the original mask and shit. I love this security guard too. Yeah. He looks like a BYU student. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't uh, cut all this, obviously, but I don't think we can get our stream canceled for, since it's a live performance. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah, sure yeah. it's public. Yeah. <laughs> camera video. So. By the way, the clip is from uh, House of Masks, I believe, which is like a popular Slipknot yeah. fan channel. I always thought 
still of the like percussionist guys too. But when you see this live element, that I didn't clip some of the other stuff, but there's a couple of the songs where the the percussion just makes it so much heavier. Yeah. Here I'm doing the right now. <laughs> um <laughs> anyway i thought that was a really cool That's way really to cool. to bust back onto the scene for your 20 uh 25th anniversary yeah homeboy 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 from skull riot just pointed out he's got a rolls royce front out there on his, <laughs> on his uh on his drums that's pretty badass actually yeah, let's go yeah. back no and, and, and you to be the uh clown yeah. is the scariest guy of them all <laughs> yeah yeah that's true that's pretty hard g that is that's pretty baller yeah so I, there's this guy tank uh the tech who's like a drum guy who has his channel so i clipped a little bit of what he his commentary like the internet because i've been a commentary. huge fan of his drumming for a very long time and being a fan of his drumming i can understand why he more. made this move i've seen a lot of people online being like he's Eric, have you seen that El Stepario Siberiano guy with the oh, yeah. dude who plays the drums? Yeah, and oh, like yeah. drinks coffee and that guy said that Eloy is the best drummer and metal drummer in the world. Like oh really? That guy. Yeah. If so, hmm. I'm like, wow, that's huge because that 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 dude shreds that that uh, yeah. El Stepario Siberiano guy. He's been in Sepultura forever, and he's a legend in that Brazilian metal scene, just like that band. Why would he leave before their farewell tour to join a band like Slipknot? Well, let's just be 100% honest here. This is why Slipknot yeah. is way bigger than Sepultura ever is and was worldwide. <laughs> I mean, I think you got that reverse ever was and is. Yeah. I mean, Sepultura in their own right is a massive legendary band. Not to criticize, because I say I say well, I, mean, I, I say I, dumb shit all the time off the cuff. <laughs> I'm like, what? I can't believe you said that. Sepultura is a legendary band that has influenced Absolutely. a lot of what is going today. You know what I and, mean? And, and and that's not yet. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Sep Slipknot would cite Sepultura as a influence. Yeah, I'm sure. Like, yeah, I mean, Corey was on the Soulfly records. Corey, Corey did like a guest spot on Max Cavalera's Soulfly record. Uh, yeah, I know it because it's like just to take this random aside. There's this song. Have you ever heard the song "Jump the Fuck Up" from Soulfly? With it has oh, yeah. it's crazy because <laughs> in the morning, it's this is how my dumbass brain works. Like I get lyrics in my head, and in the morning, so many days when I wake up, this lyric that Corey says in that song: "Are you gonna lay the fuck back down or jump the fuck up?" It always plays in my head like yeah. in the morning because I'm like it's like a question that I'm legitimately asking myself like are you gonna lay the fuck back down or are you gonna get up and like yeah get to work anyway I know that was way too deep and philosophical no, I mean <laughs> for kidding. some people it might be it's it, I was being sarcastic and but for somebody like Aloy who if I'm not mistaken is in his early 30s this may not be something that lasts the rest of his career this could just be another thing on his resume that when slipknot gets to the point when they're done or if they decide to be done he could move on and again i think this is a gig drama aside i know we've seen a lot of drama with this band over the years this is a gig that i think anybody would kill to be in any one of their shoes i mean you're gonna the drummer they just fired is in suicidal tendencies now so yeah, yeah. Like it's it's definitely a smart career move. Who is it? Who's Jay Weinberg. Oh yeah, okay. Jay Weinberg. Yeah, what well, about um, uh, Lombardo? Joey? Lombardo. Well, Lombardo's Slayer. He played with. Uh, well, he was in Suicidal for a while too. Did he play with Suicidal? Yeah, he did. He might. He well. I don't think. I don't know if he did. Maybe I he, did. he did. I know he f filled in for Metallica at one point. No, he played suicidal because What's his name? I, met him, that's what, I met him at the airport after a suicidal gig. Really? Yeah. Maybe he was filling in for it. Now I got to look that up. 
Yeah, no, he was he was in it. Oh, by the way, when we were talking, we were talking about Pantera, and I was totally going to show this in Joey's honor since he's not here. Yeah. I wanted to show the the his favorite um, Pantera album cover real quick, just in <laughs> Joey's honor. <laughs> since Joey's not here. Yeah, it, we got to show the Pantera Metal Magic cover. Just nice, just for Joey. Joey, Joey you're here in spirit. Yes, you are. <laughs> there we go. There's the uh, uh oh metal. We're just gonna like go down as being a member of one of the most legendary metal bands ever. I mean, up until Slipknot's self-titled album came out, and then Iowa, we never saw a band this heavy really hit the mainstream this hard. Again, as I said earlier, it was game changing. And having somebody with the groove and the chops that Aloy has, this may add a new element to Slipknot. <laughs> Thank you. 